Okay, ladies, here I am. It's the afternoon. We are about to go hang out with some friends. So if you hear the door open, that is Lainey. If you hear the dogs going crazy, you're used to that anyways, okay? So y'all can see me. I'm hanging y'all on this little like stand thing that I have for when I cook live on Facebook. Here is the Moterm A5. I got the sheets in that I wanted. Simplification is key. So I have I bought this container at Target a while back. I keep all my planner inserts throughout the year, like extra copies that I make or just anything. Got like these, I've never used them, but they're in here. I've got just all kinds of inserts. So I keep my disc bounds, I keep my six rings, I keep sticky notes, I keep stickers, everything in here so that when I need it, I can just pull it out. Um, let me actually, these are all my extras. So I took my sheets. Oh, I actually meant to tell you guys. Okay, so Lulu's, Daisies, and Company. I get this style. I'll tag them too on YouTube, but I get this type of style from her. I love her shop, her stickers. She has some that are in color, but I love the idea of black and white. They're just crisp and clean, and I prefer that. And if I want to add some highlighter color, I can. Um, I have the cloth and paper, the memo sticky pads that I'm going to be using. The habit tracker from cloth and paper i'm going to be putting this once a week so i can start uh, tracking my exercise and then i went on ahead and just pre-cut some stickers because i don't want to carry all the packs because i'm trying to keep the weight down for my purse the bulk down so i can actually use this crap and then i use my six ring zipper pouch that's where i'm going to be putting all the stickers okay so i'm still in the process of planning for the week ahead um, so that's why they're still sticking out. Dashboard, I've had this since now officially last year, 2020. Make it happen, because I gotta start making things happen again. I've got my cloth and paper folder, so just a folder. I'm gonna keep that there for whatever miscellaneous stuff that I need to file. I've got my six ring. Um, I got this from cloth and paper a while back. I was keeping dot stickers in here, so I was cutting them like this and putting them in there, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. Lady, you can come in. Oh, hey, Lady's coming. So that was Annalisa. My daughter, she's back home for New Year's. Um, so got that. These are this way, right? This one is like where you put the business cards in here. So it holds a business card. I have this one from Planner Press. It says, you've got this, you're a fighter. Look at what you've already overcome. Cause yes, Bichas, I need to be reminded about this this year to keep on going, right? Even when I'm damn tired. This Moterm, it comes with this section right here. So it's going, I'm gonna put one pen here and I'm gonna put a highlighter here so I can keep simplified. I love the idea of this card slot. Um, I don't know what I'll use yet for that. I'm not really sure. Maybe I put my post-its there. Let's see if they fit. They would fit actually. So we'll see. I'll let you know. Um, I will put my Instagram again on the description box. It's mompreneur living. So if you want to see how I finally do it, I'll take some last minute pictures so that there's still pictures, not a video. And on this side, there's more card sections. This right here is where I'm probably going to end up putting the, um, like our spending card that I'm gonna have right there. I'm probably gonna put the Budget Mom book, the workbook on this side. This is a little bit wider than the cover, I think, that I was using with Astology, so hopefully it won't stretch it out too bad, but I'll keep you guys posted again on my Instagram. Um, okay, so I have the cloth and paper inserts. I'm gonna be using those for right now, like I told y'all, so it's got the, we just opened the package today. Just got like some world clock conversions here at a glance, typical, nothing crazy holidays. I did buy last year their uh, monthly tab. So I have the January monthly tab. It says January. And then I put right here. So this, this is what cloth and paper looks like in January. My husband just is doing his own thing today. So sorry for his noises. So there's monthly January. It gives you goals, important dates, and then any bills due and to do list for the month. You've got your monthly view right there. So like I said, I'll be working on putting this together. I have the weekly views on these, but I'm gonna show you guys cause I'm gonna try to do a couple different things. So it, this one has the lined pages. Um, and then I put this one here for morning mindset. So morning mindset is from cloth and paper. It asks you just these six intentional questions. I figured though, I need to keep my morning mindset to like a weekly mindset. So I'm going to try next week 
if I can do the mindset and just keep this here for the entire week and read it every week, almost like an affirmation style, I'll let you guys know. So I went on ahead. I put one in between each week so far. So that way each week has its own weekly mindset. So it's got that one too. All the way through the end of the month. I was originally going to put February in here because I'm ridiculous and then reminded myself I'm trying to keep this thing as lightweight as possible. So I kept the month of February out. I'm going to focus on the month of January. These are just some note sheets. So random, you know how we all have notes or calls or whatever that you got to write notes on. So that's that. Um, the schedule. So schedule right here. This is where I put the, I'm, this is where I'm going to have like my dailies. This one came from... I don't know. It says HF. I think it was one through Etsy. I'll have to look for the link, see if I, if they're even making these anymore. Um, but I put this one there just as a filler right now because I'm going to print on the thicker cardstock that action, like the daily action that I created. Again, if you guys want that, just email me or look at the video, the other video, because it had my email address in there. Um, but I'm going to put those in there instead just so I can have focus. Um, lists. So I don't have anything in list yet in planners. I don't know if y'all have the same damn bad habit, but like you, you feel the need to put something everywhere. And then 500 pages later, we got too many pages of things. So this one lists still have nothing in it. So it's just blank section. The other one that I did have, so this one's projects. I'm only limiting myself to two projects at a time so that I don't overcommit. So there's one of the project sheets second project sheet and then I put recipe because I'm I need to start like getting on top of my recipe so I can send those PDFs and do the video recordings so while I'm in Texas my goal is to get at least one recipe created and done this one's from cloth and paper as well it's a two-sided recipe sheet which is kind of cool so even if you're not gonna be doing videos and stuff but if you just want to write recipes I thought that one actually is really cool um, the next one is under finances. I put this one cloth and paper. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm a diehard fan. I feel like they're missing out, but um, I'm going to color coordinate. So I'm going to put my highlighter schemes of which category is what and just keep that there because so often I'll like forget what my color coordinating is. So I get all excited like, oh, I've got my crap together and then I don't have my crap together. So this way, hopefully it'll help. Purchase tracker. So I've got just, I'm going to be keeping track with that card that we have um, and then just also doing, I did a separate sheet so that I can do um, all of our like automatic uh, drafts for bills. So that way I can keep track for the coach. And then I have a wish list tracker, cloth and paper also. And this year I decided I'm just gonna do that with no guilt. So I'm gonna put one for personal, uh, professional, uh, just household, whatever, right? Cause you're supposed to plan that at the beginning of the year. You're supposed to put wishes together and see where you land. Um, goals and ideas is the next tab. So I did goals and ideas. I just need to tell you, look how floppy this thing is. I love it. It's not structured. It's like almost like it wanted to be, but then it's not. And that makes it awesome. But this other one is just the goals and ideas tab. And then there's a recommendations page that cloth and paper had. I think they still have them actually, but it says to watch, to read, to listen, and to make. So under to watch, it's the show cinema and channels. Any new shows that I want to read or watch, I'm all about like the British channels right now. And then Bollywood films and Nollywood films. Who would have ever guessed? Because I've watched everything else. My daughter's cracking up at me in the background. To read books, articles, and stories. So I'm going to keep that one there. I'm actually, I need to start filling this one out tomorrow because I'm supposed to put together my 2021 reading list for the first six months. And I haven't done anything with that yet. To listen, uh, just music, podcast, audiobooks and then to make any crafts and hobbies. So on the back, it's to eat, to see, to go, and to learn. So to eat is the foods, restaurants, and recipes, to see live events, concerts, and museums, to go places and sightseeing, and then to learn new skills, languages, and good habits. Part of this though, and the goals, because my goals are we're trying to accomplish for niche home team, like actually getting the closings that we are saying that we're going to get for the team. So I just printed off light paper. You know, for those of you that are new to planning, or even if you've been around planning for a while, sometimes there's nothing wrong in just getting plain Jane paper and printing it on your printer. Um, a tip that I found, and that I think maybe that's probably why I like the black and white outside of the fact that it just reminds me of like minimalism and simplicity, but it's cheaper to print the black and white versus color because 
it just is. Why not add some color highlighters or if you're into stickers and stuff, you can add color stickers, right? In this case, like I have some that are Zoom meetings. They're in color because those need to stick out for me so I don't forget about them. But anyway, so this is the closing tracker, which for real estate agents like myself is so important. Um, I have the other tab that is just a miscellaneous tab. So I've got buyer profiles here. So if you know anyone in Arizona that wants to buy or sell a house, y'all just let me know because I got my sheets ready to go. Cloth and paper, get these real quick. They have these like clear tab post-it notes. I got these in one of my subscription boxes earlier last year. They're cool, the concept was cool. I was actually really excited that I was gonna get these. They have the paper version too. I don't like the paper one because I just feel like it's gonna bend the second I put it into something. I put this one here for right now so that the buyer profiles because I've got a couple things going in my miscellaneous section. So I've got that one and then I've got contacts because I like on the go sometimes I'm asking people for their info and I need to be able to have a place to write it down. The one thing I will say about these that I don't like and why I didn't use them when I first got them, the adhesive, so I think, you, yeah, you can see it right there, perfect. Okay, so see that list, this little line right here? That's the adhesive. This thing to my finger, it's so long right there that you, by the time you put it on your sheet, like in this case, it's right here so that you can see the tab, but then and I'm gonna have to literally take this off to fill that out I don't know. So I don't know that those are going to stick around. I actually told myself today, like I might take those off and do the more narrow tabs. Um, but anyway, so this has my real estate prospecting stuff. Um, the name of this company is sweetspapertrail.com. Etsy store again. So I will tag them. These have been really great when I use them. I just have not used them consistent. So pray for me that I will. Business cards, I have another one of the Zip Pockets um, sticker from Etsy that I had gotten last year and I just put that on these. I bought these um, six hole pouches on Amazon. I think it was a six pack for maybe $5, $4, something like that. But anyway, so I'm gonna keep business cards anytime that I'm out and about. That way I can then put them into our database because I committed to Katie, my right hand gal, that I'm gonna do better about database. Cloth and Paper created this one sheet because I had, had used Disbounds. I'm trying to recycle some of my Disbound sheets. So this one, I think it's called like an inbox something or whatever. So you can see it's got email, uh, mail, email, don't forget. And I don't remember what the hell that one is for. But anyway, so people use these things to um, just put miscellaneous things that they don't want to forget. So I have that. But in the back, this was my favorite. This was a uh, planner press. Uh, dashboard for some reason I just love this thing I love it I love that she has Starbucks cup she looks like she's just badass and nothing's gonna get in her way and let's face it she looks skinny and good with this jeans and that just makes me feel better about myself so I have that slide in um, at the very back I don't know if I'll end up using this sheet per se but I'm I put it there just in case I change my mind and if I decide to so with that um, right behind this business card one. A tip for you, so I, I on purpose flipped this one around, the zipper pouch, so it's got the white right there. I'm putting this one this way, so that way you don't waste space or bulk it up extra by having those two snaps together, or like the, whatever that little, not even hardware, it's plastic wear um, has. So closing this, so now that I have that, you saw, like I'm, I had to remind myself, just keep what you're really gonna use, don't over, don't over uh, chunky it, because you guys know, I, like I love chunky planners, but I'm trying not to be that way. So look, there's still plenty of space. There's still like plenty in there, which is nice. So that's what it looks like right now. Um, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna start filling it out with stickers. And like I said, I'll put more pictures on Instagram as I continue today. Um, if you guys have any questions about it or whatever, if there's a specific topic you want me to cover next week while I'm working out of it, let me know. And if not, I'll check you guys later. Bye. Oh, there's my face. Goodbye now.